Hello everyone, I'm Hannah Jasmine Santos and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, after we have done the experiment number one not gate, we will proceed now to the experiment number two which is or gate so let's start so for this experiment 2 or gate the equipment and materials that we need to use is first the 5 volts DC power supply and one piece 74 LS32 quad 2 input or gate and next is one piece 5 millimeter red lead and one piece one half watts 220 ohms resistor and of course our three pieces SPDT switch here is our switch next is one piece breadboard And also the jumper wires and our alligator clip so let's start the experiment as you can see in our circuit we will place put the IC and the resistor in the number 3 of the IC 1, 2, 3 and of course the positive side of the LED connected to the resistor And we will now connect the negative of the lead to the ground. And after that, also the number 7 of the IC is connected to the ground. So we will connect it by jumper wires 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 the last one in this part and also the number 14 of the IC is connected in the positive side of the breadboard So after that, we will now put the um, switch. As you can see, this is the switch. We will put two switch. So in the first switch, we will connect its center to the number one of the IC and the second switch we will connect the center to the number two of the IC And also, we will connect the 
switch to the positive and to the negative side. And also this one, this part, and this part to the negative. Okay, let's check. So, the number one of the IC is connected to the switch. And also, the number two of the IC is connected to the switch. The number three is connected to the resistor and to the positive side of the LED. And the number seven of the IC is connected to the ground. The number 14 of the IC is connected to the positive side side of the breadboard and also the switch it has connection with the positive and to the negative side so let's try it to connect with the 5 volts DC power supply So this block is for the negative and this yellow alligator clip is for the positive. So I put the negative here and the positive here and let's turn on. Let's turn on our power supply. So as you can see, so now let's answer the truth table A.1 for the figure A. So here, the inputs B and A is zero, so our output is also zero. Then the second one is B is zero and A is one, so here is our A. Let's turn on the A. So the output will be one. And next, the letter B. Input is 1 and A is 0. The output will be 1. And the next one is inputs B and A is at logic 1. So the output is also logic 1. So now let's proceed to the second figure of this experiment. As you can see in the second figure there are three switch and it has a connection to the three and four number of the IC and 
the number six of the IC is the one that is connected to the LED and to the resistor and number five of the IC is connected to the center of the switch so let's try this we will put this on the number six of the IC and we will input again the positive side of the LED to the resistor and the negative side of the LED to the negative side of the breadboard and we will put the other switch the number 3 and number 4 of the IC is connected number 3 and number 4 this is number 3 and this is number 4 And the number 5 is connected to the center of the switch. Okay, and this side of the switch is connected to the negative side of the breadboard. And this side is connected to the positive. Okay. There are wrong with this connection. So the number here the number five is the one that is connected to the center of the switch. This is the number five. Okay, let's check. The number 1 of the IC and number 2 is connected to the switch. And the number 3 and the number 4 are connected. Let's see. Okay. Then the number 5 of the IC is connected to the center of the third switch. So the number 6 is connected to the resistor and to the positive side of the LED. And the number 7 is connected to the ground. The number 14 is connected to the positive side of the breadboard and this side of the switch is connected to the positive and this side is connected to the negative. And here, the negative side of the LED is connected to the negative. Okay, let's try to connect it again to the power supply. So here is our negative and here is our positive. Let's try what will happen in the second figure.
as always the or gate is an any or all gate because a one at any input gives rise to a one at the output the high level is the prime or active input level for the OR gate so as I said earlier when we input one or more logic one the output will add logic one so let's try let's answer the truth table for the second figure which is truth table B so here is our letter C, letter B, and letter A. So in the first one, the C, B, A inputs is at logic 0. So our answer here in the Y output, the output will be 0. And in the second one, the letter C and the letter B is at 0. And the letter A is at logic 1. So the output will be at logic 1 also. Then the next one, the letter C is at logic 0 and the letter B is at logic 1. The letter A input is at logic 0. So our output here is at logic 1 also. And the next one, the letter C input is at logic 0 and the B and A is at logic 1. The answer also is at logic 1. So, next, the letter C input is at logic 1. And the letter B and A input is at logic 0. So, the output is at logic 1. Next is... The letter C is at logic 1, the letter B is at logic 0, and the letter A input is at logic 1. The output also is logic 1. Next is the letter C is at logic 1, and the letter B is at logic 1, the letter A input is at logic 0 the output also is 1 and lastly all our switch is at logic 1 and the output is at logic 1 okay we are finally done with the figure one and the second figure. I hope you learned something new today about this experiment number two, which is OR gate. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.